like a red light. All right, let's go check this out. So what do you do after an epic meetup with Pale Rider and Blackbeard? You break out the parole. Oh, 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 Corona. Oh, Corona. Well, we are at the Walmart in Tallahassee, Florida. Over there is the Dollar Tree. And you go on around and there's Bass Trackers. And then you go around some more and there's Costco. Costco! So, uh, I'm going to run inside, get a few little things I forgot to get when I was home this last time. And uh, while I'm doing all that, uh, get back out here to the truck and everything. And by then, hopefully, Teresa will be off of work and she's gonna swing by. We're gonna hang out with her for a little bit before we start running on down to uh, St. Pete. So y'all don't go nowhere, hang around. And we'll talk about everything we got coming up the next uh, three, four, or five days, all right? All right. Come on, Ducky. Come on, Duck Duck. Duck Duck. Come on, Duck Duck. That ain't Duck Duck. You got dirty. You look all black. You don't even look like the same puppy dog, Duck Duck. Yeah, you don't even look like the same puppy dog. Yeah. You look different, Duck Duck. Yeah, you look different. Yeah, you look different. I'm going to put my eyes together, snap my fingers, and hopefully Ducky will come back. Is he back? Oh yeah, there he is. Dead, dead. Dead, dead. Look at Daddy, come here. Dead, dead. Show mom how pretty you look. Well, 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 what's up everybody? We're getting ready to roll out. We're just doing a little quick little pre-trip. Make sure everything's hunky-dory. Everything looks good. Ah, I forgot to come over here and clean out the trailer while I was here. They, uh, Whenever they unload cabinets, they always leave trash in the back. And uh, it never fails. I bet you, I guarantee you, there's going to be water bottles back here and pieces of those straps that they use to hold the cabinets down. Because they're too lazy to throw it away. Look at that. Not a daggum thing back here. Just as clean as it can be. Now, don't I look like a dumb ass? <laughs> but I'll tell you, nine times out of ten, there he is. I don't know what it is about them people unloading those cabinets they just don't put forth the effort to clean out the their mess you know they'll leave because they get hot and thirsty you know so they'll be drinking the water gatorade whatever they'll leave it in the back of the truck so i had to clean that out we're doing a drop the hook all right so there's the duck man so welcome back there there they like that some of hair, baby yeah all right so first thing we got to do we gotta take down our sign. See, we always put a sign up whenever I drop the trailer, just in case somebody wants to be curious about it and wanna know what's going on, that don't know. I mean, the owner of the uh, property, he knows, but I don't know if he has my number. So just to be on the safe side, I always leave it. Just to make sure it's easy for somebody to get a hold of if they need to. That's a good idea to do. You don't want people to be wondering about the trailer and uh, end up towing it or something. You know, it's better to just leave your phone number so they can contact you. You said, all right, Dad, give me a boost. Give me a boost, Dad. All right, let's give him a boost. All right, y'all watch. Y'all watching? Y'all watching? Say here I go. Wow. Say, all right, so I'm ready to go, Dad. Let's go. Say, so hook that trailer up and let's go. All right, so I'm going to hook the trailer up and we'll talk with y'all in a little while. Well, well. We had a rest area on I-49. The duck man's checking out the pavilion. Yeah, somebody done been up in here. Yeah, somebody done been up in here, daddy. Uh-huh. Yeah, I smell them. Somebody been up in here. Oh yeah, I smell them dead. Ah, <laughs> uh, they need to get out here with the lawnmower and cut this grass, man. Woo, starting to get high. 
But yep, we're just south of Alexandria, Louisiana. We stopped here last night. Tear it up, Doug. Tear it up, buddy. And uh, doing our 10 hour break. And then we're going to drive on over to uh, Terrell, Texas. Pack the truck full of fuel. And then uh, take a shower. And then uh, head on into Dallas where we got to deliver at. Well, you know, I've always been as honest as I can be and transparent and everything with you guys. So I'll go ahead and tell you. This load I'm hauling, it's garage door, roll up doors, you know, the big ones like they have at um, mechanic shops and places like that, the really big ones. Plus they also have the sections like you would have at your home garage, you know, uh, the little square sections that fit in. Picked up in Pensacola going to uh, Dallas. This is the worst paying load I've had. Man, I want to say ever <laughs> at Landstar. <laughs> and when I say worst paying load, I don't mean the gross overall revenue. I mean the per mile. That's what I look at. I look at the per mile. This is by far the worst. Uh, for me that I've ever pulled that I can remember ever pulling um, And I usually keep pretty good track of those numbers like that, but 220 a mile That's before Landstar takes this cut At the Landstar takes this cut. I'm looking at maybe with the fuel surcharge and everything a dollar fifty dollar forty five a mile to the truck <laughs> and uh, I'm used to, I'm, I always get at least a dollar uh, 65 dollar 75 or and, and my average is actually for the last year was uh, was like a dollar 90 so this is really low for me and uh, like 50 cents below my minimum <laughs> not my minimum but 50 cents below my last year average and the only reason I'm able to do it is because diesel right now is so cheap. You know, I'm gonna pay a dollar fifty for it when I get over here to Terrell. I paid a dollar fifty six for it yesterday over in Grand Bay. If I was paying three dollars of a gallon, I, I'd lose money on this load probably. Uh, <clears throat> even if I was paying two fifty a gallon, I'd maybe break even. And uh, so, but I had to take the load. You're like, well, Triple T, why don't you take that load? I didn't have to have to, but I kind of had to in, a, in another way because I had to get back to Texas. I had to take the trailer back to the cabinet place where I picked up that trailer. I had to go to Kilgore and pick up that load of Humvee tires for the National Guard Armory to take up there to Texarkana. That load, man, since I picked it up over a week ago, has cost me, <laughs> me a lot of money. I sell a lot of money, a lot of lost revenue that I could have made. I mean, I ain't had to pay out any money, but I mean, I had a lot of lost revenue. And um, so, and I hate it. And it ain't like that was a super duper high paying load. It was just, I love the military. I love doing military loads, you know? So, but it, it sure cost me a lot of revenue on this one. So anyway, we uh, already ate breakfast. We got our coffee going now. We're gonna fix up the old Stanley, make sure it's full fill up our cup start heading up towards Shreveport jump on 20 up there and shoot on across over to Terrell so once we leave here we probably won't stop again till we get to Terrell All right, good morning and that's Jason Terry good morning Jason <laughs> alright we'll talk to y'all later well we are in Carrollton Texas what's up that that what's up that that there he is there's your duck man, where's he at? That's so we can get the spotlight on. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he goes, around the truck. <laughs> anyway, we're here in Carrollton. We are delivering 
in the morning. I thought it was first come, first serve, or at least by eight, seven, eight o'clock. Man, we got a 9.30 appointment. <laughs> so we'll get plenty of sleep. So anyway, so here's what we're doing. We're getting unloaded in the morning. I'll insert right here a picture of what the load looks like. All right, so here's, here's what it looks like, look. So, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff and it's all floor stacked. So if they, even if they start on it at 9.30, I'm thinking I'll be lucky to get out of here by maybe noon, if I'm lucky. I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, generator's loud, ain't it? Let's go back this way. Anyway, uh, so that's the goal, is to try and get out of here as quickly as possible. Here to train. <laughs> it's either the train or the generator, one or the other. You take your pick. Okay, so <laughs> anyway, we, uh, we got to book it back over to Marshall, Texas, and drop this trailer off over there and uh, then we're gonna bobtail to Kilgore to the National Guard Armory where we left that other trailer pick it up book it up to Texarkana I'm gonna do my best to stay there at the National Guard Armory because they got a big parking lot out front there's no reason why we can't park there it don't make no damn sense I mean I'm an army veteran and that right there so yeah dad see I'm a veteran's uh, dog yeah see I belong to a veteran that's right. That's right. That's right. So I'm going to start there. Put the spotlight on me. <laughs> so anyway, uh, hopefully we can park up there. And see, the thing about it is I pull me up there until 1030. But I'm going to check in early because they owe me. They owe me, man. I ain't lying. I, <laughs> all the revenue I've lost because of that freaking load. Yeah, they should unload me first first thing but uh hopefully maybe i can talk to them explain my situation and they'll unload me a little early maybe and uh anyway we get unloaded as quick as we can there right but the main thing is we can't start our driving until we're done unloading up there because it's going to take the full 11 hours to do all of what we got to do here's what we got to do we got to drive back down to terrell texas drop and hook, drive up to Springfield, Missouri. Now from Texarkana to Terrell, Texas, I'm looking at a minimum of two and a half hours. At the most, I'd say three, all right? Then from Terrell, Texas to Springfield, minimum seven hours. Hopefully, God willing, no more than eight. <laughs> so that'll put me right at my 11 hour max. So, and the thing about it is, there's no 10 hour break and then go finish delivering because I'm supposed to be there at 7 a.m. to deliver. So, I got to get there with that one go, you know, so I can't stop and do a 10 hour break and then finish driving the rest of the way and deliver. So, we gotta keep our fingers crossed we can make it. So, anyway, oh, I wanna tell y'all, getting out of the truck i want to tell you you need to be watching for my one year review of landstar so if you're thinking about coming to landstar if you're already working for landstar or if you're just curious you need to watch for that video because it's going to be coming out most likely friday However, if it's already out, that means I put it out Wednesday. <laughs> so either you've already seen it or either you watch for it on Friday. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not one of these pro YouTubers. I try to do the best I can do with my editing and getting stuff put together. So uh, we just have to wait and see. I'm gonna go in there and work on it. I got the, the the bulk of it done. I just got to do the opening and put in the closing, and uh, we'll be ready to go. 
What you gotta say, dude? What you gotta say, huh? What you gotta say? Where you going? Where you going? You don't wanna talk to the people on the YouTubes? You don't wanna talk to the people on the YouTubes? Say, what's up, YouTubes? What's up, YouTubes? I'm out of here, Dad. I'm out of here. Hey, she camera shy today for some reason, huh? Hey, did you see our TikTok video? We got a TikTok account now. We're on TikTok. <laughs> I did a, um, I did the video with uh, Duck Duck. Uh, I said, how's it go? Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? <laughs> that's funny. I enjoyed it. That was fun. So, hey, that's another thing. Go check us out on. Go check us out on TikTok. So, uh, the trucker's table, I think is the name of it, over on TikTok. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and end this one here because we made it. We picked up in Pensacola, and now we are here in Carrollton. <laughs> so, uh, thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, all that wonderful stuff you do. And... Don't forget our motto. If you're an owner operator, don't haul no cheap freight. All right? Go to sleep.